Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce ABS function in Lars AX, which is also called pass brake. The function is similar to the brake in a real car and can prevent the wheels from locking up or even losing control. Here is RC AX. Enter the recent menu. ABS. Take ABS1 as an example. If you want to turn on ABS function, set it from off to on. And all the values below can be set based on different cars. Brake channel is usually in channel 2, throttle channel. You can also assign other channels in ABS 2 and ABS 3. Brake return defaults to 50, which means the server will return 50% or half of the travel of trigger when ABS is turned on. And for example, go back to the server display. Push the brake. You can see the brake is jumping between 100% and 50%. For example, when you set it to 30, the server will return 30% of the travel trigger. And delay here stands for the delay from brake operation to ABS operation. It defaults to zero, which means the ABS function is activated with no delay. And when the value is set to 50, ABS is activated with a delay of about 0.7 seconds. When the value is set to 100, ABS is activated with a delay of about 1.4 seconds. For example, I set it to 100. And go back to the smooth display and push the brake. You can see there is a delay of ABS function. Cycle speed. The smaller the cycle speed is, the faster the pulse cycle speed. It defaults to 10. You can see the pulse speed is faster just now. And if you set the value to be higher, such as 30, push the brake. You can see the pulse speed is lower. Set it back to 10. Interval rate stands for cycle duty ratio. The proportion of the time the brakes are applied and the time the brakes are released by pulse operation. The ratio can be set from minus 9 to plus 9. Here, ABS trigger to start means the position of the trigger that activates ABS function. For example, I set it to 60. Go back to the server display and I push the brake slowly. You can see ABS is not working now, but once the brake server reaches 60, ABS is activated. Now it is working. Here is ST trigger to start. It means ABS operation can be controlled according to the steering operation range. We need to set steering trigger from off to on first. The value is 80, so ABS will be triggered when the steering server value exceeds 80. Go back to server display. You can see ABS is not working now, and I slowly turn the wheel. When the steering server reaches 80, ABS will be turned on. Eighty. So we can say ABS is working now. And trigger mode. Trigger mode includes normal and reverse. In normal mode, ABS will work when the trigger position exceeds the trigger start position. It is sixty here. And in reverse mode, ABS will work when the trigger position is within the trigger start position and will not work when the trigger position exceeds the trigger start position. It is opposite to the normal mode. For example, it is reverse mode. The trigger start position is 60. Push the brake. You can see ABS function is working, but when the trigger position exceeds 60 of the trigger start position, ABS will not work. 
Now the server is 64, so ABS is not working. And by the way, here is the icon of ABS function on the home screen. If ABS is working, it will light on. If ABS is not working, it won't light on. So ABS is working, it is on. And when it is not working, it won't light on. And so that's all about how to set ABS function on RCAX.